I'm Ryan O'Dowd, and you're listening to Ryan's Audiobooks on the Issues Magazine YouTube channel. Today we're continuing with Section 711, of The Chaldean Oracles of Zoroaster. Soul, Body, Man It behooves you to hasten to the light, and to the beams of the Father, from whence it was sent to you, a soul clothed with much mind. These things the father conceived, and so the mortal was animated. For the paternal mind sowed symbols in souls, replenishing the soul with profound love. For the father of the gods and men placed the mind in the soul, and in the body he established you. For all divine things are incorporeal, but bodies are bound in them for your sakes, incorporeals not being able to contain your bodies by reason of the corporeal nature in which you are concentrated. And they are in God attracting strong flames descending from the Father, from which descending the soul crops of ethereal fruits, the soul nourishing flower. And therefore conceiving the words of the Father, they avoid the audacious wing of fatal destiny. And though you see this soul malnumitted, Yet the Father sends another to make up the number. Certainly, these are superlatively blessed above all souls. They are sent forth from heaven to earth, and those rich souls which have inexpressible fates, as many of them as proceed from shining you or from Jove himself under the strong power of his might. Let the immortal depth of your soul be predominant, but all thy eyes extend upward. Stoop not down to the dark world beneath which continually lies a faithless depth in Hades, dark all over, squalid, delighting in images, unintelligible, precipitous, craggy, a depth, always rolling, always espousing a shadowy, idle, breathless body. And the light-hating world and the winding currents by which many things are swallowed up. Seek paradise. Seek the way of the soul, whence, or by what order having served the body the same place from which thou didst flow. Thou must rise up again, joining action to sacred speech. Stoop not down, for a precipice lies below the earth, drawing through the ladder which has seven steps, beneath which is the throne of necessity. Enlarge not your destiny. The soul of men will in a manner clasp God to herself. Having nothing mortal, she is wholly inebriated from God. For she boasts harmony, in which the mortal body exists. If you extend the fiery mind to the work of piety, you will then preserve the flexible body. There's room for the image also in the circumlucid place. Every way to the unfashioned soul stretch the reins of fire. The fire-glowing cogitation has the first rank. For the mortal approaching the fire shall have the light of God, for to the slow mortal the gods are swift. The furies are stranglers of men, and the Persians, even of ill matter, are profitable and good. Let hope nourish you in the fiery angelical region, but the paternal mind accepts not her will until she go out of oblivion and pronounce a word, inserting the remembrance of the pure paternal symbol. To these he gave the teachable character of life to be comprehended. Those that were asleep he made fruitful by his own strength, defile not the spirit, nor deepen the visible aspect of life. Leave not the dross of matter on a precipice. Bring her not forth, lest going forth she have something. The souls of those who quit the body violently are most pure. The destroyers of the soul which gave her breathing are easily loosed. In the side of sinister Hecate there is a fountain of virtue which remains entire within, not omitting her virginity. O man, the machine of boldest nature. Subject not your mind to the vast treasures of the earth, for the plant of truth is not upon earth, nor measure the measures of the sun, gathering together cannons. He is moved by the eternal will of the Father, not for your sake. Let alone the swift course of the moon. She runs ever by the impulse of necessity. The progression of the stars was not brought forth for your sake. The ethereal wide flight of birds is not voracious, and the dissections of entrails and victims, all these are toys. The supports of gainful cheats, stay away from them, if you intend to open the sacred paradise of piety, 
where virtue, wisdom, and equity are assembled. For your vessel the beasts of the earth shall inhabit. These the earth bewails, even to their children. Thus concludes section 711, the Chaldean oracles of Zoroaster, soul, body, man. Tomorrow we continue with section 712, demons, rights. I will see you then. Alam.